before going to discuss different type of plasmids that is what are different type of natural plasmids or artificially created plasmids first we can briefly focus on the basic properties of the plasmids and uh, we will start with the uh, interconversion of plasmid DNA so naturally plasmid mostly present in the form of circular DNA molecule अगर तो DNA के दोनों strands जो हैं वो intact हैं तो उस सूरत में इसको कहा जाता है covalently closed circle DNA और CCC DNA if one strand it is intact and other it is having a gap so under such circumstances the plasmid it is called as open circle DNA or OC DNA so naturally when we try to isolate plasmid from the bacterial cells so it is present mostly in supercoiled form so supercoiled means that if the double helix structure of the DNA it again having a coil that it coils itself then it is called as super coiling so plasmid DNA that we isolate from bacteria so mostly it is present in super coil configuration that is its double helix it is again or itself it can have super helical structure so there are different type of enzymes that can interconvert super coil DNA into covalently closed circle DNA that is CCC DNA or open circle DNA that is OC DNA and this interconversion of super coil DNA into covalently closed circle DNA or open circle DNA it is mediated by different type of enzymes briefly I can explain that uh, uh, topoisomerases they are also one of the class of enzymes that can unwind the DNA when the DNA replication it is going on so in the direction of the movement of replication fork the stress is created on the DNA and if this stress it is not re relieved then the DNA replication is affected so by creating artificial leaks so topo isomerases can relieve such uh, topological stresses on the DNA so topo isomerase can also uh, unwind the DNA temporarily in addition to that if the DNA it is again converted into covalently closed circle DNA and we want to convert it into supercoiled form then we can use DNA gyrase so it can again wind rewind the DNA but maybe in opposite direction that is it can introduce negative supercoiling so if we can uh, uh, if we want to create open circle DNA then the DNA it can be uh, treated with endonucleases so that it can uh, cut one strand of the DNA under some situations so that we can have open circle form of DNA so it can be explained uh, with the help of a diagram that how enzymatic interconversion of supercoiled DNA into CCC DNA or OC DNA it is there in this diagram as I told you that if you attempt to isolate DNA mostly it is present in supercoiled form here so this supercoiling it is there naturally it is present in the bacteria so it can be converted into covalently closed circle DNA or CCC DNA when we treat it with enzymes like topoisomerases so that 
relaxed or covalently closed circle DNA it is produced. If we again want to convert it into supercoil form then again it can be treated with another enzyme that is DNA gyrase. So it will introduce negative supercoiling and if we treat supercoil DNA with endonucleases then OC DNA or open circle DNA it is produced because one strand it is not intact. So such type of DNA it is called as OC DNA or open circle DNA. OC DNA it can again be converted into CC DNA if we bridge this nick with the help of DNA ligase so that it can again convert it into CC DNA or CC DNA again can be converted into OC DNA if we again treat it with another enzyme which is called as endonuclease. So this is the enzymatic conversion of supercoiled DNA into CCC DNA or open circular OC DNA.